Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel and this is Tina from TinaHills.com Now I will be reading for the 12 astrological signs for the upcoming week and I will be pulling two cards uh, the Rider and Wait and uh, the Romance Oracle cards so uh, last week I didn't give you the Romance feeds and some of you wrote to me so I have added that in my reading today so let's get straight to the reading we are having a new moon today so blessings for this new moon it is very precious because it is trining Jupiter it is conjunct Mars uh, widely conjunct Venus and Mercury is at 23 degrees of Cancer stationing direct so this is the universe telling us go it's it's a new day it's a new moment it's adventurous it's spontaneous so seize it let's get straight to the reading aries you are in a beautiful place because whatever planets you have there in the sign or if it's your ascendant degree then you could be trining this um new moon and this could mean and mars is also in leo so this is beautiful energy uh, uh solar energy flowing within you and chiron is teaching you very many lessons hopefully this month is going to be one of the best months for you aries so let's get straight to it let's uh for a moment center and uh Activate the cards with love. So all the messages we get and all the beings that assist us in getting these messages, may they be blessed. May they guide me towards giving you what you need. So, it's beautiful, isn't it? This amazing portal. So, te ate, gate, gate, para gate, para sanyate, bodhi, soha, baha, sutra. So three of pentacles, Aries, it means that there is a, a, a teamwork kind of a situation that's coming up for you. Uh, or for some of you, this is about work being finally appreciated. You have been doing tons of work and ultimately it's about you creating that life. Pentacles is about money. Threes are about creativity and conquering new vistas and balancing whatever needs to be balanced so we also have the trinity within the mind body and soul again we of course have the christian trinity and the hindu trinity father son holy ghost brahma vishnu maheshwara so threes are all about tuning into that powerful place from where you can create and manifest money manifestation aries whatever ventures you're going to take up this month this is a six month cycle, make no mistake. A romance department, I think for some of you, this is a time to not rush ahead with any commitment of any sort, but really get to know each other. It could be work related. My spirit guides are telling me work related relationships will flourish for some of you, Aries. Now, Taurus, let's see what I have for you. Ah, two of pentacles. Look how pentacles are popping up time. And again, money, finances. There is a financial decision in front of you, Taurus. Two of pentacles is always about a financial decision. It could also mean you're juggling two things. And whether you're doing it successfully or not, I don't know. Uh, maybe you're trying to do too many things or so playing too many roles at the same time and make sure that... Uh, something doesn't slip by because you did not pay enough attention and if choices are coming in front of you uranus is in your sign it is squaring this lunation so and mars and mercury and all of that so true love uh taurus i see true love uh, coming your way it's incredible just the other day, somebody I know who's Taurus found true love online. Uranus and Taurus, right? Now, Gemini, uh, you rule the lungs. 
Don't smoke away and do not vape, Gemini's. They are they, but they got they, but I got they, but I saw me at they, baby. So, ha, wow. Ten of cups, emotional fulfillment, Gemini. Time with family, friends, celebration, and maybe a journey somewhere, maybe, you know, a get together. Uh, it's beautiful. Oh my God, how precious, Gemini. Ten of cups is going to. Give you such a fulfillment fulfillment this um month that's coming ahead see i say month because we have this new moon today but this is a weekly so uh but energies do tend to play out this is popped out for you spirit wants you to forgive and learn in the relationship department gemini simple enough now cancerians let's see what spirit has in store for you i'm just gonna you know put those back and um okay eight of cups cancer so someone is walking away from something and that is probably surprising to all his or her near and dear ones this could be you or this could be someone in your life uh, who is probably embarking on a spiritual journey. A journey that is uh, taking her or him to unknown realms, uncharted territory. And it may appear absurd that, you know, why is this person walking away? This person has everything here. It could be a change of a uh, job it could be a change to something that is more spiritually viable for you eight of cups is yes walking away but not upset not angry just walking away because this is the best and this is what needs to be done sometimes it's about taking that journey you know taking that journey uh, into into territories that you know you need to to enrich your soul give your relationship a chance cancer some of you contemplating a breakup divorce separation think again think again uh, things could pop up for you uh, new things and new ways to resolve your conflict creative solutions maybe even a financial gain okay now we go on to the astrological sign of leo where we have the new moon so, uh, blessed be all my beautiful Leos. Let's see what I have for you. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is always the beginning of a new emotional cycle. It could also be pregnancy. It could mean a blessing of sorts, even from your mother or uh, father. Mother, because I say cups, it's, it's more the feminine. So, there's a very powerful womb energy around you, uh, Leo's, and a blessing that is coming forth. Leo's looking to get pregnant. This is the time. Some of you, there's a new relationship, feeling this, this uh, tremendous beatitude within that you did not know existed or you thought was lost. So, healing family issues, Leo. If you really want to make the best of this relationship in front of you. Okay, Virgo. Let's see what I have for you. Wow, we have the Eight of Cups. Virgo, either you're walking away or someone is walking away from uh, something. That is tangible, that is physical. But this person does not feel the need to hang around anymore. It could be you in a relationship. It could be you in a job situation. Don't forget this Leo situations in your 12th house of incarceration, mental asylums, fantasy, imagination, spirituality and all of that. So I would say a lot of you Virgos are feeling like just leaving this routine behind. You're great at routine, make no mistake, Virgos. But you somehow want to leave this behind and you you seek for some deep fulfillment. Uh, something deep within your soul is craving for more. And just your, you know, this stuff doesn't make you happy anymore right now. Some of you in a relationship, if you're thinking, if you're having second thoughts, don't. This 
very well could be the one. So take time to cultivate this. Now Libra. Okay, this card fell out again. So this is kind of like walking away from something. Seems to be a motif. I will just keep that out for now. And I'm going to pick another card. So Libra, your reading is tainted with that. So, and look at that. Very complimentary. So Libra, you seek to walk away from something. some Or someone's walking away from uh, I think this Cancer Virgo Libra could be connected in a cycle. Maybe a Cancerian wants to walk out from a Virgo or a Virgo person wants to walk out uh, from a Libra. That could happen. It could be a job, could be a relationship, could be just you taking some time out and figuring uh, out what's going on. Are you happy? Are you truly connected? Are you coming from a place of deep passion, interest? Are you participating? Hermit is the god of Virgo. So Libra, maybe this is about a Virgo person. Maybe it's about a Saturnian guru type of a person who tells you to take this hiatus, you know, take a break, move away, see what can be done, what can be accomplished. So take some time out, Libra. All right, take some time out. And uh, if you need to walk away, walk away from something, Libra, you could be... You know, trying to please someone, make someone happy and sacrificing your own happiness. You deserve love no matter what is going on. Never ever think you don't deserve love because you do deserve love. Okay. Now moving on to the astrological sign of Scorpio. Let's see what I have for you. Wow, the four of swords, the first sword, Scorpio. So this is about healing and convalescence. You've been through a lot. You've had, you know, swords inside of you. You've had to, you know, really stand your ground. You've had to do tremendous amounts. And sometimes it may have felt like, you know, you're, you're experiencing a crusade of sorts. And maybe now you're suddenly, um, everything's a bit quiet. And uh, you have time to think, to meditate, to ponder, to figure out what it, this figure is deeply contemplative. And yes, you've been through a lot, but there is a sense of gratitude within this card. Fours are also about foundations. Some of you could be conflicted about your foundations or what's going on there, you know. But whatever this is, this is about a, a deeply introspective moment that you're experiencing, Scorpio. Maybe you're digging deep into some kind of psychological trauma. Leo's your 10th house of in terms of your midheaven. Something new maybe in, in terms of your career. Children are affecting your love life, Scorpio. Whatever that means for you. You may need to find a balanced approach to to your relationship and children. Take care of your children. That is a commitment you have to keep, you know. Um, Sagittarius, you have Jupiter trining all the luminaries in Leo, the stellium in Leo. And um, 11th arc. Arcus, Jupiter goes direct, yay, abundance, expansion, growth, you know, all of that. But there is a decision in front of you, uh, Sagittarius, and it does not seem to be clear. Nothing is clear as of now. What's going on? What's happening? It could be travel related. It could be career related, relationship related, but whatever this is, Listen to your intuition. The crescent moon tells you that. You have to listen to your intuition. Don't just depend on your thought processes. The water is not turbulent. But water is still water. If you jump in there with your blindfold, you can drown even if you're a brilliant swimmer. So there is a choice in front of you. There's something that you need, this part, that part, this person, that person. And this choice is not easy because nothing is clear for you, Scorpio, uh, Sagittarius, right now. So just hold your horses. Don't jump into anything. Don't uh, take a rash 
um, decision to make a rash move is what I, I would say. Honeymoon. So maybe for some of you, this decision could be about a honeymoon. Okay, a honeymoon also could mean you taking the time and just you know, spending that time with your spouse if you've been in a long-term relationship and things just seem hackneyed and bored and for you, boredom regime routine is going to stifle the relationship. So get out there, have a second honeymoon if you must, you know. So Capricorn now, let's see what I have for you, Capricorn. Queen of Wands, this is about you becoming abundant. This is about you being creative, being sensual, being a mother, sharing. Osho calls the Queen of Wands sharing. This is about a fertility. This is about um, a connection to, to, the, to the mystical feminine, to the mother. Okay, so very powerful uh, for some of you Capricorn this could mean that mean the entrance of a fire sign lady who drives or a man or whatever who drives you crazy you know and she is just so abundant and so sensual and so beautiful or he you know he could be this crazy fire sign individual with with some style and panache that it drives you crazy capricorn and i know things don't always drive you crazy you're very saturn's child so it's about getting to know each other okay this person if she or he walks in and um, you're smitten then get to know them and i know you don't rush into anything that's so not you but still you know, just really ask those questions, get to know them, dig deep. Aquarius, what can we expect this week for you, my love? This uh, uh, new moon is, of course, in your seventh house of marriage and partnerships. So what can we expect for you, Aquarius? Let's see. Five of Cups, regret, lamentations. Wasted opportunities, um, not counting your blessings, not um, emotionally fulfilled, missing someone, missing um, an idea that has uh, outlived its purpose, missing the per person you used to be, or missing a, uh, how someone used to be. Lamentation, regret, nostalgia, mm very poignant card so Aquarius I think in your seventh house set intentions to connect with someone make that call although you tend to be so emotionally detached and this just fell out for you so give your relationship a, a chance if you're feeling all out and sad give you that you know make that call send that email please don't uh, wait for the other person because you have this ego. Don't. Nothing is worth it. Seventh house of relationships. Set an intention and ace it. Okay, now Pisces. Let's see what I have for you. A brand new financial idea. Or this could be a younger person who comes into your life. Could be a sibling. Could be, you know a prepubescent uh, child or even a lover for some of you who is a, a sign and uh, this this person is is bringing a message maybe even giving you an idea on how to grow your income maybe even uh, creating something with you okay if it's your child then this person may need some discipline okay may need some um, guidance with regards to where they're going they can be a bit stubborn so uh, be mindful of that some of you this is true love okay if if you are with a younger person it could be a female male whatever then uh, even if you don't believe it chances are that this person in front of you is something very, very special. 
So are you gonna let them go or are you gonna, you know, really work on this one and, and, and manifest your heart's desire? Let me know in the comments below if they work out or if, if the reading is accurate for you or not. And uh, please do provide timestamps if possible. Thank you so much. Visit my website uh, for a more detailed understanding of the work I do. And check out my merchandise. Thank you. Bye.